Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mark Roden. Uh-oh, here comes the, you guys ready for this? You guys get to hear all the sounds of the scraping and coilovers, there we go. Coming out, I usually film when I'm already driving, but today we're going out of the driveway. But anyway, yeah, today we're gonna be going over my dream 10 car slash 14 because I have the worst, let me make something clear real quick. I'm a car guy. It's actually impossible for me to just choose 10 cars that I would want. Um, there is probably hundreds. I could literally, if I sat there all day long, I could list probably 300 cars that I want to own in my life. Like it, it is, it is ridiculous. So I tried to narrow it down to just 10. And um, in doing that, I tried to narrow it down to 10 that all fit like a certain need. But when I did that, there was four other ones that I just could not exclude. So those are gonna just, just gonna be some honorable mentions. But yeah, today it's the 10 dream car mark. Uh, it's really Mark Roden 10 car garage um, and it's it's you know it's a rainy day I'm going to get some pizza I'm a little bored and also I was like you know what let's let's film a video so without further ado let's get right into it let's start with the honorable mentions though because like I said there, there's honorable mentions uh, first up is a Porsche Cayman GT4 RS I've always loved the Porsche Caymans I'm not a big Porsche guy like the 911s I've never really been the biggest fan of the 911s if I'm being 100 P with you um, but I always loved the Caymans and the GT4 RS is literally just a grid 4 ready car from factory that looks really really cool like I really want to own one of those they're track weapons they're super lightweight like it would be a fun little track car to have so I put that there um, the next car is also kind of another track car it's another honorable mention the Mitsubishi Evo 9 MR um, I know that people like you know the Evo 3s Evo 4s Evo 5s even some people like the Evo 10s my thing is the Evo 9s the Evo 8s and the Evo 7s and if I could have any of them I would choose the Evo 9 MR it's obviously the best of the best to, uh, in terms of performance and that would be another sort of time attack style car whereas the GT4 RS would be like a, a track day car you know you bring it to like a, a racetrack goodness gracious my stomach's been hurting all day but uh <laughs> Yeah, whereas the GT4 RS would be the uh, tra track day car, the Evo would be a more like time attacks ready car. The Ford G63 obviously can make a lot of power, and so I'd like that as well to, to have a little bit of power going there. It would just be a fun little little time attack weapon. I like them a lot. And it would be the uh, all wheel drive car, which is cool. Uh, next up is a BMW E30, not an M3. I know that's the weirdest thing ever. Why would he choose not an M3 over the m3 e30 because i feel like with an m3 e30 i would feel too um too inclined to build it a certain way just because it is the m3 and it's so valuable whereas a regular non e30 m3 is is just you could just thrash on it and that's exactly what it would be it wouldn't be like a specific build i wouldn't like make it so that it's oh definitely a track build it's definitely a time attack build it's definitely a drift build it would just be a fun rear wheel drive classic bmw that I just have a ton of fun with. Maybe I'd swap the motor, who knows? I don't know what I would do with it, but I'd like to have one. I really like the E30 bodies. I think they're sick. Um, yeah, I'd like to own just a non M3 spec E30, maybe like a 325i, that would be really cool. And the final one for the um, honorable mentions is the Toyota Mark II JZX100. I know you're thinking, why would you choose the Mark II over the Chaser when the Chaser is just better in every single way? I don't know. I like the Mark II's looks a lot better, and there's really not that much better than the, like the Chaser really isn't miles ahead of the Mark II JZX100. It's just slightly better. And so I'd rather have the Mark II. Uh, it, it would obviously be a, a drift car. I mean, come on. Every JZX platform is a, is a drift car nowadays. So I'd make it a drift car, but I've always loved the JZX platforms in general. Like they're just so like unassuming when stock, but then when you modify them, they're so cool. And uh, I'd like the, I like the Mark II. Out of all of them, I'd like the Mark II uh, JZX100. I know you could get the JZX90 Mark II, you could get the Chaser JZX100, you could get the Cresta. My personal opinion, I like the Mark II the best. I've always, I always have. It looks the best in my opinion. Uh, I'd, I'd want to own that. For, for sure. But now let's get into the actual list of the actual 10 cars in their categories. Let's start out with the obvious one, if you know Mark Roden, then it's obvious. The Mazda RX-7 FD. I, it's my dream car. <laughs> like, I want an FD RX-7 more than I want a big booty Latina. Like, I, I, I maybe not, maybe not. That That's a close one. But FD RX-7s are just gorgeous. And this wouldn't really fit any certain specific, like, 
style, it would just be my perfect build. I wouldn't cheap out on it. I'd spend, I'd get the perfect parts for it. I would take the most time in the world. I would most likely keep it a rotary because I love that rotary brap, 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 brap. And if I had 10 other car or nine other cars, then I wouldn't need to worry about the reliability of the rotary. So I would, I would just, I would just have fun with this one. It would just be a, it wouldn't fit a certain need. I would just do what I want to do with it. I wouldn't care if people think I'm basic. I wouldn't care if people thought uh, that it wasn't the right mods to it. I would just take my time and build my perfect FD RX-7. Everybody has a car that's like that. Everybody has a car that they just want to, to, to have years to build and infinite money to build the exact way that they would want to build it. And mine is the FD RX-7. I've always loved it so much. Uh, yeah, it would fit that need. Next is a Nissan Silvia S15. I obviously am a big fan of JDM drifting that aesthetic. I like that stuff. It's really fun to me. It looks cool to me. Everything about drifting I like. And so this would be my practice drift car. What does this guy mean? Well, I'd have multiple drift cars in my 10 car garage. And so I kind of had to think of like another way to put it. But yeah, this one wouldn't be like my pro levels, 1000 horsepower spec car. And the reason why isn't because I don't think they're good for it. They're incredible for it. Obviously, there's a ton of them in Formula Drift right now. The reason why is because I love the S15's body lines so much, how it is stock, so I wouldn't want to wide body it. And unfortunately, if you want to run like a thousand horsepower in the S15's, you do need to wide body it in order to fit tires underneath it. And so I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to turn this into a pro spec car because I like the body lines too much. I don't want to wide body a car that looks this beautiful. So I'd keep it relatively stock body. I'd keep it looking as gorgeous as I think it does, but I'd have it be a fun little drift car that I take to the track every once in a while, just to practice on. Not anything super crazy, just a fun drift car. That, that, that's all. They're obviously really good drift cars, and so I know that. Another one is, uh, uh, another like honorable mention, I guess, here would be like the S14 or the S13 as well, by the way, because they're, they're, they're both also really cool cars. Uh, but next up is one that, 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 that I actually am kind of getting into a little bit, the Chevy Silverado 2500 HD, the newest one. One second, I gotta take a sip of water. Mm -hmm. H2O partner. But yeah, whatever the newest one is when I get the money to afford it is the one I'd want. I'm not a big truck guy by any means. Uh, I don't know much about trucks by any means. Um, and so when the, I don't know if it's like the newest ones are the best. I like the newest ones because it has the best interiors. In my opinion, they look better almost every single time that they come out with a new generation. It looks better than the previous one. And so I just get whatever the newest one is. Uh, but I am starting to like, like look into trucks more and more because I'm starting to understand the appeal behind them, dude. They are just so practical, so useful. Especially if I had, excuse me, Jesus, especially if I had a 10 car garage of all like these sports cars, I would need a truck to tow them. And so, yeah, I would definitely get whatever the newest Silverado would be. I like the Silverados better than the Fords. I like the Silverados better than, than, better than the Rams. Um, so I would just, I would definitely get a Chevy. I think they're the best looking for show, for show, for show. But anyway, next up is going to the McLaren P1. Uh, this is, so I always say the FD RX-7 is my dream car and it is my dream car. Um, but the, because it's like affordable and I know that I could actually afford an FD RX-7 one day. But the McLaren P1 is that car that, you know, I would actually probably kill a man to own it because of how gorgeous it is. This would just be my master of the flex car, right? I would take this out if I need to flex on every single person I drive by, it would be this car. It's just, it, it is just gorgeous. I would never modify it at all. I would just keep it stock. It would just be the beauty. The one that I would sit there and stare at in my garage. The one that I would drive once a year and be happy with. <laughs> it's it's just, the McLaren P1 is absolute. I'm not a supercar guy by any means. There is two supercars on this list, but by no means am I a supercar guy. But my golly, what they did with the freaking McLaren P1 it should, go, it should go down in history as being legendary because this thing is unbelievably gorgeous. I love the McLaren P1 with all my heart. It is absolutely gorgeous. And the other supercar I would own in my 10 car garage is the Lamborghini Murcielago. I, another car that, again, I'm not a supercar guy, but it's another one of those supercars that ever since I first found out about it, I have loved it. I love everything about the McLaren, or the Lamborghini Murcielago. It is such a gorgeous looking car. The gated manual, the last of the gated manuals is incredible to me. It's got a V12, it sounds insane. It handles obviously pretty well. It's super rare. They, they just look 
oh my god i love how they look like everything about the murcielago is goals to me i love murcielagos and i would obviously get one with the gated manual if it's an automatic i honestly don't even want it like i, I genuinely would not choose this car in my 10 car garage if it was the automatic but if it's a gated manual yes i i want it i want it so much that would be so much fun just imagine racing around in a mercy lock and for those wondering like what does this role kind of fit i don't know i mean i guess just another one of the fake it till you make it kind of cars on the list with the right along the mclaren p1 the car that i'd look at uh but probably more so along the lines of like it's definitely like this is the one i would take to car shows over the mclaren p1 um because i just love the mercy lago so freaking much man but anyway, next up on the list would be a Nissan or a BMW. My bad, BMW M4 G82. Um, this this one kind of fits a weird role. I, I'm a BMW guy. I love BMWs. I always have, and I like the new M4. At first, when they came out, I didn't. I, I I thought they were kind of a little ugly, but they have massively grown on me, and I love the G82 M4s now. They're really cool, gorgeous cars, in my opinion. And so I would love to own one. But why? Like, what role does it fit? It fits that role of like being the daily when you don't have to drive the truck. You know what I mean? Like the summertime daily. That would be this car for me. It would be the car I would drive every day. I know if I had a family, well, good luck for them. They can they can buy that Chevy if they want, or they can buy this Toyota Sienna if they want it. But I'm keeping my freaking daily M4. But yeah, I, I would have I would just have it as the uh, as a daily that I could drive when I don't need to drive the truck. It's nice enough to be like comfortable while you're driving it every day but it's also fun enough to get into some trouble if you want to while you're driving it every day. It just fits all the needs for me. It's also bougie, it's got a nice interior. Uh, it's decently, reliable. obviously it's not super reliable, but I have nine other cars to worry about so I don't need to drive this every day. It would just be so much, just, just such a nice car, man, to own. And if I ever need to carry people around in it, if I like have to, it still does have the four seats so I could fit people in it if I absolutely need to. Like it just fits all the needs. And it's at the same time still a very fun, good looking car in my opinion that I can have fun modifying as well. Next up is going to a car that I actually did own and I sold it and I'm super mad I owned it, sold it, the Nissan 350Z. Uh, you guys know me, you know I love the 350Z. I think it's an absolute bargain of a car right now. And because of that, it's grown on me a lot. Uh, I know the VQ35 isn't the best motor out there for building power or anything like that. I know the platform itself isn't really the best out there. It is, in my opinion though, for less than 10K. And I know if I had a 10 car garage, I could buy any car over 10K, but you gotta you, you gotta go back to your roots sometimes, man. And for the people finding like what role does this fit, it would be my Thrasher. I would take this out on rainy days like this and just drift every single freaking corner under the sun and not care. Why? Because the VQ is reliable, parts are cheap for the car, the car itself is cheap, but it's still got three, oh, it's still got 300 horsepower and rear wheel drive with a limited slip differential, so you can have a ton of fun in it, pretty much stock. It would just be an absolute beater car, and I would love it. I would love every second of it if it was like that. I freaking love the 350Z. Ah, I freaking love the 350Zs. Uh, I would love to own another one one day. So yeah, I, I most likely will own another 350Z one day, but we'll see. Anyway, next up is going to my pro level drift car now, because this is the one that I would actually spend a lot of time perfecting. The Toyota Soarer Z20. Um, we know it as a Lexus SC300, but overseas I got it with the 1JZ. I'd rather have the 1JZ one, obviously, so I'm gonna go with the Soarer. Um, but yeah, I, I love the SC platform, man. I love how it looks, I love how it, like, it's, it's rear wheel drive, it's got a manual, it's a luxury car though, for its time at least. Like everything about it's so sick. And with a 1JZ, you could get so much power out of that thing, Frank. Man, it, it would it would be a such a good drift uh pro level drift car. And I like these cars when they're wide bodied, so I wouldn't have a problem wide bodying it wide bodying it for the for the pro FD scene. So this would easily be my pro level drift car. I know it's not the best out there by no means. Obviously, if you really just care about being the best, you'd go with the Mustang because they're really good drift cars, but I don't care. Next up is going to my only American car, unless you count the truck, because the truck is American, on this list, the Chevy Corvette Z06 C5. The C5 vet, it, I've always loved more than any of the other vets. I really have. I know it's not the best by any freaking stretch of the imagination. It's just an average Corvette, but I love it. It's got pop-up headlights. I love how it looks. It's got an LS in it, so it can be fun. And this would just be my like drag monster, my straight line performance monster, whether that's street racing or actually going to a drag strip, this would be the car for that. Why? Because why not? It's got a freaking LS, it's rear wheel drive, it's beautiful looking, but it also, the good part about the Vets, like I know that you're probably like, well, if he just cares about drag, why didn't he just go with like a, a Mustang or a Camaro? Because the Vet can still handle well too. And I love that about Corvettes, dude. They're 
yes, they're super fast in a straight line, but they're also track cars. And that makes me so happy. Like, I would love that about them. I love that so much. And so I'm not an American muscle guy, muscle guy at all, but God, I'd love a C5 vet one day, man. I would love to, a Z06 because they make more power out of factory. But honestly, even the base model C5 is fine with me as long as it's got a manual transmission. Oh, and I like how, I like the uh, target top. So if it has a target top, I'm chilling with that. Should I go this way? I'm gonna go this way. I don't go this way enough, I feel like. But yeah, I would love a C5 bed. I love everything about them. They're really gorgeous cars. And uh, yeah. Anyway, last car for my 10 car garage. It fits into the, oh gosh. It fits into the track weapon category because it is just, it, this would be my time attack car, my go-to autocross car, my go-to track day car. It is the Acura RSX Type S, or honestly, what I probably should choose would be a Honda Integra DC5 Type R. That's actually what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go with the Honda Integra DC5 Type R. I was thinking with a budget, but now that I realize I don't need, if this is a 10 car dream garage, you don't need the budget, why not get the Type R? So yeah, we're gonna go with the Type R. DC5 Type R. Why not the DC2? Why not the DC4? Well. I like the new R, oh gosh, uh, I have an Integra right now, right? I have a DC4 LS Integra, and it's a fun car, and I do not want to get rid of it anytime soon. Um, I might have to, though, in order to buy a 350Z again, because I don't have much space, which makes me sad. But yeah, I love this car, I love the B-Series, I love everything about it, right? I just like everything about the RSX slightly more. And I know that you're probably like, well, the uh, DC2 is more legendary, why not like go without? Because even though the DC2 is legendary, it's legendary for a reason. It, it, it was an insanely fast front wheel drive car, right? And so that's cool. That makes you think like, okay, yeah, why would you choose the RSX? Because when the, in, the DC5 came out, that beat it. But no one talks about that. No one talks about how the DC5 is just faster around, around a track than the DC2 was. And like, I love the looks of the RSX. The interior is much more modernized and much more new. And pers I've never had a K-Series, but personally, I think I'd rather have a K-Series than a B-Series. So everything about the RSX fits my needs more. And on top of that, DC5 Integra Type R is the fastest time attack car in the world right now. Like that's how that's how insanely good these cars are at time attack. I would love to own one. I for for the rest of my life, I want to own at least like one Honda, pretty much. And my oh gosh. And if I because uh, I love them now, ever since I owned this one, I really have liked the Honda platforms. Um, they just handle so well. And I would love to own the RSX uh, uh, of all of them. But yeah, that's my dream. Ten car garage plus four honorable mentions, so technically fourteen. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please should like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. I'm getting close to the pizza. Pizza Palace is what it's called. I'm getting close to there, so I'm going to have to head out. But let me know in your car. I want to see. You don't have to do your 10 car garage. You do not have to do that if you don't want to. You don't have to go into depth into why you want each one of the cars you want. But I do want to see, you know, what are your guys' dream car garage? You could do five. You could do three if you want to. I don't care. But I just want to see, I do want to see what other people think of when they think of, like, their dream cars. Also, today, this, this the Integra is being a little wonky. Maybe I, I, I might have to fill up the front tires there i didn't check but it's like kind of like skirting across maybe it maybe i'm just hitting some hydroplaney spots but but yeah let me know in the comments what uh your dream car garage would be like and I, when i say dream car garage i mean dream car give yourself no budget what if you could own any car in the world what would you own but anyway thank you guys so much for watching oh gosh i hate this road just now i know why i don't go this way i freaking hate this road but thank you guys so much for watching das Madania, and have a nice night